How you all doing? Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you a nice and cheap effective AK-74 build that I use when I'm going on budget runs. If you do want to follow your automatic gun, this is a great gun. The AK-74 is really good and I recommend you do use this build that I'm going to show you right now. Before we get into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash the subscribe button and the like button. We're nearly at 175 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Also, make sure to turn on that notification bell to keep up to date with videos I do upload. I have not uploaded a video in a couple of days and I have been busy with other things and other channels, but I'm getting back to it again. Also, make sure to check out my live streams. I do live stream. I will be live in a day or two. Anyway, getting back to the video. Now, the reason I use, I use the AK-74 is because it is only 19 to 20,000. That's the average price you're going to get it at. So I do recommend you use this gun. It's usually just 20,000. You can get it for easily, nice and cheap. If you just want to go with a plain AK-74. However, we are going to kit it a bit and I'm going to show you the sort of mods to use to make it nice and effective. So as you can see here, we start at 43 ergonomics and let into vertical recoil with just the base gun right here. So it's not bad, to be honest. It, it does the job if you just want to take it out like this. But I'm going to give you some attachments that I recommend that you use. These are the ones that I usually go with. To begin with, I always change out the grip to the RK3, Zenit RK3. And then I always add in one of these things, the RP1. Uh, as you can see, it's gone up in ergo. The recoil is still the same, but we're going to change that. But the ergo has gone up a bit. Uh, it was 43, but now it's 52. That does help out a lot. I also changed this uh, brown stock here to this one. This increases the ergo and lowers the re um, recoil. And then on top of that, I add a stock here, this recoil pad. I'll show you all the pricing afterwards. As you can see, the recoil's gone down to 82 and the year goes up at 54. So the year goes going up slowly and so is the recoil going down. Uh, sorry, the recoil and the recoil is going down slowly. So after that, what I usually do is I uh, keep this um, gas tube, whatever comes with the gun, just keep that unless you want to change it out. Uh, you want to... By the way, if you're just buying the parts, you want to make sure you don't buy the more lot because that usually ends up being more expensive. Just get the AK-74 gas tube. Anyway, going moving on to the uh, handguard, you want to put on the CAA RS-47. You can put any on, really, but I think this is a cheap, nice and cheap and effective one. So there's quite a, a few different ones that I like using, like the Aggressor or the CMRD. There's so many good ones here that I do love using. But right now we're going to go with this one. This is a nice and cheap one. As you can see, the Ergo goes up to 57 and the Recoil goes down to 79. So it's cheap. I, I believe it's about only 10 grand and it does the job. Okay, so moving on, the next thing I recommend is you put a grip on. As you can see, the Ergo is 57 and, and the uh, Recoil 79. So what I usually do is I usually use the RK6, but... There's another one that I usually use. You can use this one. This is a nice and cheap one if you want, but it only takes the air go up a bit and the recoil down a bit. I'd recommend you use the Cobra, the SI Cobra Tactical Tactical Grip. <laughs> tactical Tactical. Anyway, it's a Cobra Tactical Grip. This one, you see, it takes up the recoil two more and it also brings down the... Re uh, sorry, it takes down the recoil two more and it brings up the air go two more. So I'd definitely recommend the Cobra over the RK6. But if you want to go a bit cheaper, I'd recommend the RK6. But we're going to keep the Cobra on for now. Um, the next thing I'd put on, you don't need to do this, it's going to cost you more, but I'd already recommend you bring a laser or a flashlight, uh, you know, a combo, any any laser you like using. The, uh, the, the TBL is only 5k, so you can put that one on if you want, or you can put the uh, X400 on, it's all your choice. But I'd put the X400 on, it's great to use, it does the job, you know what I mean. The next thing now I recommend, you can either put this, if you want to go cheaper... You can put the sight onto this RS-4 uh, thing, whatever it's called, the uh, the RS-47. You can put the sight on top of it if you want, but the sight will be a bit forward. I do not like that. I feel like it, I don't know, it takes, it doesn't feel right when I've got the sight on the front. But if you want to go cheaper, you can do that. Instead of buying a rail, what you can do is, or a dust cover, what you can do is you can put this Tactica Tooler rear sight on. And it does take it down the ergo a bit, but you can't put your sight on there. Uh, if you want to, I'd recommend getting this site as it is the cheapest out of all of them. This site's pretty cheap as well, but I don't, I don't really like that one. I prefer this one. It's not the best site, but it does the job. It does take down the ergo a bit, but what can you do? You want a nice site on there. But if you don't want a site, you don't need it as this does have a little site, which you can use if you want to 
go even cheaper. But what I'd recommend is putting this site on. It's decent. It does the job. And you'll be able to get them kills nice and easy. You won't be missing all them shots. So as you can see, the final build right here is 63 year ago with 77 vertical recoil compared to the 92 recoil which we had before and the 43 year ago. So it is much better. It will do the job and it's only going to cost you we'll see how much it's gonna cost you right here it's only gonna cost you about 60k as you can see 49,000 actually let me uh, do this from uh, any wait, let me refresh this so this is only gonna cost you 64,000 if you have the gun if you're obviously buying the gun on top it's gonna cost you 84,000 but here's the thing if you buy it like this it's only gonna cost you 54 seeing as you have the uh, the um, flashlight but the thing is like I said you don't need a sight so that would be 18k cheaper you don't need the laser sight so that's uh, so if we take this off you don't need this you don't need this um and if you really wanted you don't need that but let's just keep that on that would cost you 36,000 so 56,000 in total for the gun if you wanted it's a really nice and cheap build i definitely recommend you use it um but that's basically it from me if you do want a cheap nice and cheap build on your aids with a fully automatic gun uh, this is the build for you. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and the like button. It's really appreciated. Turn on the notification bell and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.